Hey, Crafty Besties. It's your Crafty Bestie, Tabitha. I'm back with my challenge on oh, this to make four tags, four tags for the George Journal. And look at this. I also got some beautiful washi. And this is the colors that match. Um, this is faux washi that our crafty bestie Rory gave me when she gave me the challenge to create four tags. So, it's a pretty neutral journal. I've got all kinds of stuff to make us four tags out of. Now this week, I kind of pre-made a couple of focal points. Um, these are Tim Holtz uh, paper dolls. They are, I'm not at all sponsored by anybody, but these are the Tim Holtz mini paper dolls. Um, there is the ISBN for them. TH94235 is the number. So that's where the little people came from. My Tim Holtz paper doll collection. Who says grown women can't play with paper dolls? I'm pretty good at it. So I have, and I will show you the other faux washi that Rory made for me. This is roses and butterflies, and these are my colors for my stuff. But today we're work, we're gonna work on tags for George's journal that I'm making out of that Bible cover. So, we're going to use some focal points that I've already kind of made. And we're going to use all kinds of stuff. I love this. Never give up. See how cool stamps can be on stuff. I love stamps on stuff. Ribbons. Rory gave me ribbons. But we're going to... I normally make tags about this size so that is gonna be the first tag and we're just gonna glue it with our art glitter glue to this and I have this on the other side this is a butter box don't judge me I like butter I'm sure you eat butter at your house too we're just gonna Put the art glitter glue on it because it dries really quick. That's why I'm using art glitter glue. Because I like it because it dries quick. I don't know if anybody else has trouble sticking the pin back in. But there's that. Because if you don't stick the pin back in pretty fast. We definitely will so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this sorry guys I keep bumping this this is a new camera holder and I'm pretty excited about it thank you Rory for my camera holder we're going to just cut this fit the shape of the tag ish and then and then as Rhonda Winstead would say and then she says <laughs> Rhonda I'm thinking about you I I'm, don't know if you're watching but if y'all don't know Rhonda Winstead she is a phenomenal junk journaler and She's a very sick lady right now, so y'all just have an extra word of prayer for her. And I should have cut corners before I did that. I know this. Y'all, I heard somebody yelling, Hey, Tab, are you not going to round the corners so that it goes better in the pockets? Of course I am, but I just took me a minute to remember. Okay. 
so I think we're just not that's too big I think I'm gonna put the happy wedding couple and yes I'm inking the edges and even though you can't tell a lot on camera it makes a difference and it takes the little shiny bits off the edges <laughs> sorry for my sniffing I have super bad seasonal allergies Anybody else with some seasonal allergies? I think I'm just going to use the tape because it's faster today. And I got this off Amazon. It's a double-sided adhesive roller. Like two or three dollars. Not very expensive because I'm not trying to pay a million dollars for stuff. We're just going to stick them down. What else are we going to put with them? I'm going to stamp around them with these cool stamps that Rory sent me. And I'm going to put happy above them. And see if congr congratulations would just fit at the bottom. And I'm using my Distress Oxide by Tim Holtz and Ranger. Gotta open the stamps. Thank you, Roy, for the brand new stamps. Love stamps. They're very sticky. That's how you can tell they're new. And it says happy birthday, but I'm about to separate happy and birthday because I need to make my stamps work for me instead of me working for my stamps. So, y'all might be having a stroke when I cut this stamp in half, but don't. It, it'll be okay. It really won't hurt anything because then I can do birthday on anything and I can do happy on anything. And I've got my block today, my acrylic block. I got my acrylic block from scrapbookingwithme.com. So y'all look that up too, because she's pretty awesome. I'm just going to ink it up with this Distress Oxide. And put happy over the happy couple. Well, that didn't do very good, did it? I'm going to try it again. Let's see if I can make it work. Ha! I like that turned out okay and then ooh, these stamps are very sticky and had really sticky sticky stamps in a long time because my stamps are old and this is brush corduroy the stress oxide. And we're going to put congratulations across their feet. So you may not see the whole word, but you kind of get the idea. And this is just me playing around in the craft room. So if you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to. I am going to put just a little tiny bit of this. Put some tape down and push this down on the tape. Give it kind of a lacy feel from this beautiful tea dyed doily. Don't worry, I can always do lots of other stuff with this other stuff. Don't don't freak out on me. You got to get creative with your craft supplies. And you know the good thing about crafting you can do it however you want to because it's your tag and it's your scrapbook 
and it's whatever you want it to be. I think I am going to put a little more of this on the edges of this just to kind of bring that color up a little more. I like brushed corduroy, y'all, and I do have vintage photo, but uh, I'm not using that on this. Then I'm going to bring out my crocodile to punch a hole in it. Oh, well, it helps if you open your croc crocodile. And I'm going to put it here, line it up almost center, because I have yet to be able to center anything in my world. But that's okay too. And I'm going to set that eyelet. And sometimes, y'all, it's hard for me to do that. And I'm going to use the blue ribbon on this. I'm just going to cut off about that much. I am going to thread the ribbon through and there's ribbon number one happy congratulations to the little married couple and there's tag number one easy peasy right now we're going to go back into this stash because I am so in love with this and this looks like a tag to me just I love this so much oh my gosh Looks like maybe packing paper and wax paper. Oh, I love it. And we're going to put it on cardstock. And then we're going to lay out some stuff and see what we can decorate it with. This time, I think we're just going to make a tall tag. And see how crooked I cut that? That's awesome. And we're going to lay it down. Good grief. I could have made that a little more crooked, huh? Great. That's okay. And I'm going to glue as much of this down. As I can center and then I'll cut off the top. Well, let's glue it down. Have some school glue. That is stuck. Why is it stuck? Well, it's not stuck too bad. Okay, let's do the school glue. You know, I like using all different kinds of glues for all different kinds of purposes. There are videos out there that will tell you what to use and why. But this is Elmer's School Glue. And I think that most things can be done with Elmer's. I try not to use my art glitter glue all the time because, as you know, it's not cheap. I don't think I'm just going to wrap it. And we can do that with the other part too. We'll just put glue on here and wrap it. And it's okay that it's got different sizes on the back when we wrap it. Because we can decorate both sides of it. Or we can make it a journaling spot. Or we could even make it a little tablet. And make that the back of a tablet. Get it a little more glue right here. But I do love that shiny paint. Shiny paint is life. And 
And if I remember correctly, this is one of her napkin papers. I love that. And look, this has a little edge we can use on something else. That's a little, just a little tuck. And to make it look more tag-like, I have this KW Trio Corner Punch. And we're going to make perfect tag sides. Maybe. Maybe we're going to make them bigger. Yeah, let's make the bigger ones. Because I don't know about y'all. Do y'all have, do y'all struggle with making the tags like the corners even? Because, yeah, that's a personal challenge. And this wet glue reason people don't always use Elmer's wet glue is because it does warp your paper a little. But this was already crinkly, so I didn't mind. And I am going to use my Distress Ink a little on the edge. I'm going to wet this ink pad with some coffee spray. So it won't technically be brushed corduroy anymore, but I should be able to work with it a little better and make it last a little longer. And, you know, there's always the refills. This is Rusty Hinge for re-inking. This is Vintage Photo for re-inking. And then I have... Vintage Photo Distress Spray. Yeah, it's just Vintage Photo Distress Spray. And see, the thing with tags is you can make them as elaborate or as simple as you want them to be. And since that's kind of sideways, I'm going to leave it kind of sideways. You're just gonna make a little collage there. Let's see what we can make. Put this man here on the edge. And then I have some words. I think this needs a sentiment. And these are the right colors. I got all kind of colors. Those colors kind of match. Not the blue and purple. These kind of could go. Maybe those could. See what other sentiments I have. And then I have single words that I could use. Hmm. And since this is shiny, I think I found what I want. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. And I think that's what we're going to use. I'm so glad y'all decided to play with me today. Oh, I better wait until I get that other stuff. I'm going to glue this down. And y'all, I love using the glue and getting my hands all gluey <laughs> and sticky and gluey. Tape might have been better for this piece right here, but here we go. I'm going to stick it down. And this, um, the chair that my Tim Holtz paper doll is on was cut out of a magazine. My aunt gifted me a bunch of magazines and books. And I've been cutting pictures out that I thought were interesting. And uh, I just sat this Tim Holtz paper doll right in that chair. And I think that is a pretty good reflection of George. <laughs> and he is a pretty amazing human being.
going to stick this on just a few little words at a time. And that's what I love about junk journaling and scrapbooking and things. It doesn't have to be perfect or how anybody else would do it. When you're capturing memories and things that you like, you just get to make it your own. And there's no rules. And it's good because I don't generally know the rules. Well, what do you think? I think I like it. I think it has to be complete with ribbon. That's according to Rory's directions. But I think I want to add to the ribbon. I have some little keys. This man does have the key to my heart. If you know, you know. And, um, uh, I'm going to get a little key. And maybe I should just glue the key on here. Mm. Now I'll just make it part of the dial from the ribbon. Okay, so here's me trying to line up what looks sort of like center. And I'm going to set an eyelet in it because I want it to last forever and ever and ever. You don't have to put eyelets in your tags, but I really enjoy having them. And that's just me. Oh, yeah. I like having an eyelet in my tag. And this matches that eyelet. And I'm going to get some string that is match. And I have a bucket of strings and bits and bobs and whatnots and wingdings. I'm going to get some string that matches this tag. I bought this at the Dollar General. If you're watching in Europe, it's kind of like your um, Europe chain action. So... I think I got this either at the Dollar Tree or at Dollar General. I think Dollar General. So this, does this count as ribbon? If it's, sorry. If it's string, Rory, I'm going to say it does since there are no rules. But you'll have to tell me in the comments. I'm going to put it first through the key and tie it in the key. No, I'm going to tie the key on after because it's kind of tiny string. To go this way. Goodness knows. Struggle bus. Oh, look at me. Threaded that pretty quick. I didn't think it's going to thread that fast. <laughs> hmm. And there. Well, that doesn't look like I wanted it to. I'll work with that more later. That's tag number two. So, okay, Rory, I'm going to have to finish the challenge. Next week, we'll finish the challenge for the next two tags. But here's tag one and tag two for the challenge of four tags made from whatever I want. If you guys liked this video today, please like this video. And if you like to watch my videos, please subscribe and holler at you, girl. And tell me, hey, Tabby, you're my crafty bestie. Or whatever. And I'm sure Jasper would appreciate that. <laughs> That's my crafty bestie. Fur crafty bestie. And um, he's over there laying. But um, 
thanks again for dropping by. Hope you like tag one and tag two. Um, these are tags for the George Journal. I got two more tags, so the challenge is not quite complete, but it works slow. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm old and I'm slow. Um, but you guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, you matter. You are important and you are enough. I love you. Have an awesome week.